Bucket, and this is your friend, Angus Bucket, with a thought for the day. We start off in the book of Proverbs, chapter 15, verse 29. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. And then we go to the second book of Kings, chapter 5, verse 1. Now Naaman, commander of the army of the king of Syria, was a great and honorable man in the eyes of his master, because by him the Lord had given victory to Syria. He was also a mighty man of valor, but a leper. Naaman had leprosy. I want to talk to you today about the power of the prayer of faith. Now, Naaman was well loved by his people. One of the servants working in his home came and said, there is a man, a prophet, who prays for the sick and God heals them. So eventually, his people persuaded him to go to the little home of Elisha. We go to verse 10. And Elisha sent a messenger to Naaman saying, go and wash in the Jordan seven times and your flesh will be restored to you and you shall be clean. Now straight away, Naaman was very insulted because that prophet never came out of his hut to greet the commander of the armies of Syria. That was number one. Number two, this prophet sent a messenger to say to him, go and wash seven times in the river and you will be totally healed. He was again very insulted. He said, there are much bigger rivers in Syria. Why must I go and wash in this little river? But eventually he did it and God healed him. We need to be very careful with that thing called pride. When somebody wants to pray for you and you don't feel that they can uh, achieve anything. I, I never, ever turn back anyone who wants to pray for me. And then verse 16 as the Lord lives before whom I stand, I will receive nothing. Naaman came back when he was healed. He wanted to give Elisha a huge gift. Elisha didn't even come out of his hut. He said, I will receive nothing. It's God who healed you. You know, we had a beautiful service on Sunday morning at Shalom. There was a wonderful crowd of people there. God laid on my heart to go and speak to a man who had had a stroke. He was walking with a stick. It started in a wheelchair had gotten out to a stick and I took the stick away from him and I, I took him by the hand I said stand up in the name of Jesus and walk and he walked right down to the front of the church the people were obviously rejoicing afterwards a little girl came to me it makes me want to cry a little nine-year-old girl she said to me Uncle Angus how long have you been performing miracles <laughs> I said Daniela I can't perform any miracles Jesus alone is the miracle worker. Have a wonderful day and trust God for your miracle. Goodbye.